spies. You've served the righteous cause, Yellow Rat. These ears are yours. Your power has gathered anew, Yellow Rat. Keep this nose. You've endured hardships on the island. Go with the town. And the bull, it is the hardest to turn against a sworn brother. You can have his body. river of childbearing, to bear that boy in my womb. If not for that monkey, we could have lived our separate lives in peace. As if none of this had happened. You're the truth. You knew who I was from the start. Why did you choose to be their lapdog? I never wanted to sever our ties. If kinship means anything to you, give me that relic! Then let me avenge my people! My king! Let the monkey have my fan! And there will be no trouble! Your brother, I've disciplined. Your boy, I've given away. Your wife's fan. Today, I'll take it with me too. Find a master and serve the right. It's the only path left for the likes of us. Don't you understand, brother? <laughs> Wukong! I took out the bull's concubine with a whack of my rake too! <laughs> <laughs> Turned out, oh, she was a fox squire! <laughs> Let me show you. 
The way I saw it, with enough merit and a position before the Buddha, they would leave me be, and all of you as well. Uh, now I see, for someone like me, staying alive is enough to be a transgression. <laughs> uh, brother, take care of your wife and children. And remember, steer clear of my remains. Yakshas are the mightiest of the eight legions, after all. Be your body hard as metal, meeting death in scores is inevitable. Yet, why did you endure the fish and those carts just as poorly? <laughs> you rush like wind with a clouded mind. It's your desires that shape what you see. Had your mind been less unsettled, would you still have fallen for that child's play? Haste oft blinds while patience illumines. Next time, can you still fulfill as Wukong without bhajan? As the Bull King collapsed, he cast a glance behind, as if catching a glimpse of his deepest fear. The Red Boy coming to claim his life with the five elemental carts and the Valiant Six. He wished this day would never come, yet also longed for its swift arrival. That was Princess Fairfox of Mount Gile. Graced with great wealth, the princess revered the Bull King's immense power. She gladly wed him, despite the ill-suited match. The two shared some joyous days together. Until the monk and his disciples came, and Pajia slew the princess. Stories tell that the two bore a daughter, though her fate is unknown. Before the journey, Wukong lived free and easy. He wandered the lands and befriended the mighty. He had six sworn brothers, the Bull King among them. The monkey and the bull both called themselves great sages. They were two of a kind. As for their parting of ways and hard-fought strife, those are tales for another time. Amid Wukong's rampage through the court, he toppled Lord Lao's pill furnace. A few bricks bearing remnant flames fell here and became the Flaming Mountains. Lord Lao blamed the furnace-tending boy for his negligence and banished him to become the keeper of this place. To subdue the Bull King, the Jade Emperor issued an edict. Nerja, with the incinerating wheels, the Gwai-slaying sword, and the coiling tether, and his father with the sealing pagoda and the revealing glass. Combining their strengths, they mustered a host of immortals who fought the Bull King and narrowly defeated him. 